Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Jack the Fall. Starting today at Weekly Reset in Destiny 2, the Iron Banner was released. This event returns from Destiny 1, pitting two teams of four players against each other to receive ranks in the Iron Banner through Lord Saladin. Don't forget to like and subscribe as it does support this channel. Now let's get into this video. So when you open up your director and look towards the tower, you can see that Lord Saladin in the Iron Banner is actually on the top floor of the tower in the main area. So when you load in that area, you'll see that it looks just like it did in Destiny 1 when it was in the tower, minus his helmet of course, so now we see what he looks like from the Rise of Iron expansion from Destiny 1. Uh, he's big in, right in front of the big token that was in Destiny 1. So we'll take a look at some of the gear that you can get from the Iron Banner engram. So you can see this is what the gear would look like if you had it all on a Hunter subclass. It's kind of got that samurai look with the Destiny 1 fur shoulders on the cape. You can see you can get new shaders along with new weapons. Uh, there's a new auto rifle, new fusion rifle, a grenade launcher, a hand cannon, a pulse rifle, a scout rifle, and a sidearm. You can also receive additional rewards as you would random drops from the engram as you would from the gunsmith or other faction packages. So the way that Iron Banner works in Destiny 2 is the bounties and ranks from Destiny 1 have been replaced with an Iron Banner engram. In order to receive these engrams, you must compete in the Iron Banner playlist in the Crucible section of the Director. Winning and losing matches will reward you with tokens in which you can exchange with Lord Saladin for the Iron Banner engrams, and winning games rewards you more tokens than if you were to lose them. The gear you receive in the Iron Banner drops randomly from the engram, just like the faction rallies. So you're going to grind quite a bit to get quite a few packages. Uh, there's also a new emblem which shows how many packages you have opened. There's a milestone, uh, one of them showing that you need to open at least 10 packages to receive uh, another award in Season 1. We don't really know how long the seasons will be in Destiny 2. Uh, they're linked to your clan also, you can see on the clan page, that you can get different staves based on the seasons. So I'm kind of wondering how this will all work out. But you can see in the videos here that uh, the first game I won, I received five tokens for the win, and in this game right here, I will receive two tokens as we lost this match. And as always, in Iron Banner, it's always try to more fun and best, I guess, in Destiny in general, just to run with your friends. Uh, you're more likely to win the games as you guys can all communicate and have fun, and you won't be grinding nearly as much as if you lose. And losing definitely is not fun in this game. I found a few games that a few of my teammates actually left and it's very very frustrating. So you can see here I'm going to turn some faction tokens of the Iron Banner into Lord Saladin. I didn't actually receive any gear because I didn't have many tokens which I guess is bad for this video. But I hope you guys enjoy the video, it's pretty much just a guideline to the video, uh, Iron Banner and how to get all the tokens. But if you did like the video please do not forget to like and subscribe as it does support me and I'll see you all next time.